Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited for this video. I have just built my dream walk-in wardrobe. Now I'm going to show you a little clip in a second, also with a Shires haul that I filmed a couple of days ago, what this room basically looked like beforehand and then I'm going to share with you what it looks like now. So before I show you that and before I show you round, this is now... You can't really see all of it right now, but this is basically my new walk-in wardrobe dressing room and dressing area. Now, any beeping in the back, I am basically being reminded by my smoke alarm I need to get a new battery, so hopefully that doesn't annoy you. So I am a lady with a lot of clothes, and obviously as well being an equestrian model, I am very, very lucky and get sent a lot of products to model. That's my job, so that's kind of like my way of work is receiving equestrian clothing, which I love. I love my job. However, I then need storage to store it all because I can't possibly sell it or get rid of it. I need to wear it, Obviously. And it also doesn't help that I'm also a little bit of a hoarder. So what I have done in here and what I will show you in a second is I have one side for equestrian and one side for normal clothing, boots, shoes, accessories, etc, etc. So I actually did this on a budget and when I first moved into this house, um, if anybody has moved in anywhere before, you'll know how expensive furniture is and I am a little bit of an impatient person so I wanted to get in and have everything, you know, set up straight away. So I really did do this room originally on an extreme budget and I had like shopping retail hangers instead as like a bit of a walk-in wardrobe. So it's always been a walk-in kind of dressing room wardrobe in here um, and even though it was tidy, it always looked really messy where the clothes were kind of open and just on like massive rails. So I made a very impulsive decision last week. I wanted an aesthetically pleasing dressing room and I went onto Ikea just for a bit of a play really and I went onto their pack system and I kind of just designed this room. Um, saw how much it was and I decided there and then to to do it. So it's still actually been done on a budget, it's been done on an Ikea budget and I put them up with my lovely friend this weekend and it's very much a DIY job. I did all the measuring myself, I've never actually used like a tape measure properly before so I was really worried that my measurings were going to be wrong, however they were correct. <laughs> everything is in here and everything is literally in here perfectly. It's not completely finished yet, we haven't put the handles on yet due to not having the right drill so I need to get a better drill um, so I can like drill actually through things rather than just drilling into things if that makes sense. So I do have some beautiful gold handles also going onto these wardrobes at some point over the next week or so so they're not completely finished but I want to start using it and I want to start you know filming content in this room and obviously I can't start filming content without kind of letting you guys know at home what my new setup is and why I have my new setup. I've also got some walls to fill as well where I've taken shelves out the walls so if you can see any holes in the walls ignore those because they won't be there for very much longer. I will now show you the day that I filmed kind of what it used to look like with all of the clothes out out of it um, and also on that day I did film a little bit of a Shires haul because I, had, because I had a wonderfully big box arrive from Shires. So I will show you that now and I will see you guys here in a second for the tour. Slightly out of puff from running up the stairs and it's incredibly echoey in here now because it's basically empty but these are the rails that I have in at the moment and have had in. So if you can imagine these with all kind of clothes along even though the clothes are kind of tidy it did just look like I'd thrown all of my clothes up. So this is now going to be wardrobes with a couple of mirrored doors in the wardrobes and this side here is the longer side so this is going to be for like all of my clothes like jumpers, dresses etc etc. This is going to have to come down I think because I don't think the wardrobe is going to fit in. I have just been trying to take these down but my drill has just died and had to go on charge so I will continue taking these down in a little moment. And then this here is a tip and this is a tip here <laughs> because everything that is everywhere has just been thrown up there ready to resort tomorrow. So yeah this little thing's got to come down and I think we'll have to go into my office room. I'm selling my Peloton bike so once that Peloton bike has been sold because I never use it um, I'm going to be making that room into my office and editing room. This side, I have to have this mirror taken down, but I don't think I want to do it myself because it's a little complicated looking. And my friend Jake's coming over tomorrow to help me put all the wardrobes up, so I think that could be a him job. <laughs> so, the wall, so the wall looks obviously a little bit wrecked because I've been taking shelves down that have been up there for the last few years. However, obviously the wardrobes are gonna be covering that. Um, and even if there's like a couple, I feel like these two here, I feel like the wardrobe may come to about there. Hopefully it doesn't, hopefully it comes to there, but I will just have to fill those in if it does. So this is the shorter side, slightly shorter, um, and this is where the equestrian wardrobe will be. Um, I think it's probably gonna be about as wide to about there if my measurements are kind of halfway correct. Um, so the holes that come out of here will have to be filled as well. Um, but yeah, this is then going to be my walk-in 
wardrobe and it actually feels very nice having all the space in here. I've also got the, the windowsill loaded up with stuff that I've kind of found on the floor. Okay guys, so later on in the same day, I'm now in my comfy, so it's a little bit later in the evening, and I just thought I would unbox with you some things that have just come through the door from Shires. So this is some of their new summer collection and I thought while I am filming this video, I will unbox it with you. So I actually have to shoot these items next week, um, well, weather depending anyway, because the weather at the moment is not particularly nice to shoot in. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with Ringo's bit. So he's been sent two lovely lead ropes, a clippy one and a different style clippy one. Very, very cool. He has been sent a sweet itch slash fly rug. Now, Ringo has not suffered with sweet itch in a year and a half. However, obviously this is gonna be his first summer at this new yard and I just really want to prepare for my, and I just really want to prepare and make sure that he doesn't itch. Um, these are really, really lovely. They're really nice and lightweight as well so they're not too kind of sweaty. Um, so I think he'll have this on in the summer and hopefully it'll keep him less dusty and a little bit more clean as well. And Shires have also sent him a gorgeous new head collar. Look how beautiful this is. I actually have the belt to match this as well from Shires. So I will definitely have to get some matchy matchy photos in the head collar and the belt. Okay, now going into clothing, we have a gorgeous, gorgeous white short sleeve base layer. This is stunning. This we have the sleeveless version as well. And then to go with that little white set, we have the matching white leggings. Again, full grip. These sets honestly are the best. Like, I'm not just saying that. These are so comfortable. I got these in navy last year, and they are amazing. So the base layer and legging sets from Shires are incredible. They're all part of the Team Aubrey range. So we're kind of sorting a little cap station out in my walk-in wardrobe. So this is going to be perfect in there. And to go with, we also have one of the Team Aubrey crew jackets. This is really, really lovely. Minimal branding, but really, really classy, really easy to wear, and really, really very warm. <laughs> going into the next bag. So... This is kind of like, I would say this is like a hybrid between a base layer and a polo shirt because it's very, very thin um, and very, very airy. And it's in a lovely kind of, like a burnt pink color. I, it kind of online, it looked like a burnt red, but actually it's more of like a, a dusky burnt pink. It's a really, really very pretty color. So that's in a short sleeve. Oh my God, now these are so cool. Uh, we also have some multi-colored leggings. How cool are these? Again, Team Aubrian, <laughs> fully sticky bummed. Um, these are to die for. I also wear everything in a size small in Shires and do feel like everything does fit brilliantly true to size. <gasps> oh no, I'm gonna be living in this. Oh my goodness me. It's pink, it's gorgeous. This is to die for. This is a great big hoodie with a lovely sized like hole to get your head through. There's nothing worse than not having like a big hole or having, <laughs> having it like tight as it goes over your head, if that makes sense. This is lovely. This feels so cozy and comfy. I'm gonna be living in this. Again, cannot wait to put that in my new walk-in wardrobe. Then we have Another jacket, but in the burgundy. This is gorgeous. I'm actually shooting these with Sammy as well, so we'll be able to do some matchy matchy photos. Um, that's a lovely, lovely colour. And then I'm also a massive, I'm also a big burgundy fan. We then have the burgundy set. So we have the burgundy leggings here. Really, really stunning as per usual with shires. And we have that with the short sleeve here as well. So, so lovely. So now we have the black set. We have the black sleeveless and we have that to go with the black leggings again really really very gorgeous last but not least oh my goodness me there is so much we have a sleeveless baby blue version of the kind of like burnt pink from earlier but without the sleeves so lovely we have another pair of leggings now these are similar to the last pair but kind of less less bright with less colors but these have more kind of like minimalistic details with again kind of the ombre lettering going down the sides and then the navy absolutely gorgeous crew neck jumper beautiful with all of the details so once again thank you so much shires for working with me honestly it's an absolute dream come true working with you every single time i do and just so grateful for the massive great big passes i get from you every season to shoot for so i will get these all set up ready to go for my photo shoot with you and i will see you guys tomorrow when it comes to wardrobe building are we ready i'm so excited <laughs> Okay, so as we walk into this room, along this side is all of kind of like my normal clothing. So I'll give you a bit of a, a bit of a look. Now it's not completely finished yet because I don't know exactly where things are going. I'm having to open everything up from the top at the moment because I haven't got the handles on. 
But for example, as I say, they're not completely finished yet, um, but I've got long dresses and coats going down there because I've left a little bit of space for those. And then in this one, I have kind of tops, shirts, blouses, and summer dresses. Um, and also my very lovely Burberry trench coat, which is a little bit longer and needed some extra space so it didn't crease. And then this is very, very cool. These are my trousers, skirts, and shorts on a pullout drawer. This is the most amazing thing about Ikea is you can literally design everything exactly where you want it and have all these like extra really cool features. So that's there. I've also got some storage space on here. I've got some summer hats going on. I have a little drawer in here, which is just kind of accessories, hats, belts, tights, etc. And then winter boots and shoes in that little basket. Then moving on to here. Now this side's a little bit bare as I've got lots of basic tops in the wash. But this is going to be where my like basic tops and everyday kind of like bodysuits and stuff are going to be hung. But I've got all my colours in the wash at the moment. And then we come down to a little glass shelf here. I've got some, you know, kind of designer sunglasses, jewellery boxes and stuff on display. And some very fluffy slippers that need to come down but I just hoovered so they're there just to keep out the way. I have a little pull out drawer there and then I just have like underwear, pyjamas, loungewear etc and then heels down at the bottom and then going into this drawer I've got bigger bags at the top. I have some of my lovely designer I have some of my lovely designer scarves and this gorgeous Holland Cooper belt out on show here and some of my favourite shoes at the back. But again, this all needs organising. I've literally, this lit all of this literally moved in this morning. So I'm yet to kind of do a big kind of a sort out of where I want everything to go. I've got some more handbags at the top. Here I have like sunglasses. I've got my designer sunglasses at the back. Shein sunglasses here, which are really easy just for taking down to the yard. Um, and some hair accessories here at the moment, but that isn't going to stay like that forever. And I've also got a very exciting partnership coming up with Anna Louisa so I've got some jewelry bits there ready to shoot. I then have my gym wear drawer. I have swimsuits but most of my swimsuits are in storage at the moment so I need to go and retrieve the rest of those. And in here I have jean storage and at the bottom we've got some more shoes. That's my flat shoes and then that's my heeled shoes. So that's this side and then at the top at the moment it is a mess because again these have literally been built for 24 hours but I've just just putting some storage stuff at the top of those for the second and then going into here this is just a full clothes one so it doubles up so I've just got jackets and blazers there and thinner jumpers here and then at the bottom is just thick and wintry jumpers and a couple of hoodies at the side as well. So that is basically my like everyday wardrobe side. And then this is like my long boot storage going down through there as well. And then tripod for filming, I've just filmed a ad for Maya Dolores in there. And then this side is my dressing room kind of side. I've obviously got my gorgeous mirror and then I've got some then I've got some perfume storage, hair products and things up on the top, and then new makeup storage, slippers, little stool, and then that's the sideboard that's kind of been drifting around the house. So it's not the most amazing setup in the world there, but it absolutely does the job and it still looks very, very pretty. And what I was kind of saying earlier is this door here literally wouldn't have gone that far open, maybe not even that far open with the big dressing table that was there before, whereas now she can open up near enough the whole way and I can at least get in there. And then the main event, the main reason you are all here is the equestrian side wardrobe. So let's start in the middle because I think we're all going to love the middle most of all. So. <laughs> oh my goodness me. So let's start at the bottom. Joppers, breeches and leggings. Now I'm actually going to turn you around for a second. So shamefully, this is not everything I own equestrian wise. I have to give myself a very strong talking to as to what I keep out to wear and what I put into storage. So this is about maybe less than half <laughs> of all the equestrian stuff I have. But before anybody comes at me, this is my job. This is what I do. Um, I work in equestrian fashion, so um, I therefore have the majority of brands in this wardrobe. <laughs> so. This is basically everything that I wear and love the most. So these are the breeches. So these are the breeches, leggings, etc., etc., that I love and wear. I've got a Holland Cooper side here with some equestrian Stockholm breeches there. That's in the colour Evening Haze, which goes with this base set. This is such a lovely set. 
This side is a little bit more bare because I have two pairs in the wash and I also have a pair on at the moment. And then we have some shires. These are honestly so lovely. The, Aub the Team Aubrey and Range, so nice. These are new from Montar with the sparkly pockets. I love these. Maximilian, we've got some bullet equestrian in here, some more shires there. The black heart hybrids, my absolute favourite. I've got them in I've got them in cranberry, I've got them in, I think it's called midnight, but it's basically navy. Um, I've got them in this kind of like grey slate colour, and I've got them in white. These are Maximilian as well, these are great. These also some Lemire breeches in here as well. So that is the breeches drawer. Now I do also have storage under here, maybe for boots in the future, but for now that is just breeches there. And again, it's not, it's, and again, it's maybe not the tidiest it's going to be because this has literally all just been put in this morning. So going into this pullout drawer, we have belts now. I do have a belt on at the moment, which <laughs> fits into here, but we have all of my riding belts. We have this beautiful one from Equestrian Stockholm. This one is from Hook Polo. This is a lovely belt. Fairfax and Favour. This one is Shires. They've actually just sent Ringo the matching head collar, so I'm going to have to get some matchy matchy photos in those. Good little Gucci. That shouldn't really actually be in this side. Um, I have a Holland Cooper, another Holland Cooper. This is a lovely belt for riding in. This is actually River Island, just if I'm feeling funky on a day. This one is Hide and Hair. This is again really, really cool, especially for a funky day. <laughs> Maximilian, this is one of my favourites. I love anything glittery and glamorous. And Joshua Jones, this is an absolute staple in my wardrobe. It's such a classic, beautiful belt. And then the one I'm wearing at the moment is this one from Maya Dolores. And again, this is absolutely beautiful. So that is my belts. And then, let me pull my, my, all my arms back out again. <laughs> Now we have base layers and tops. So I have organized them where I have a sleeveless to short sleeve to long sleeve to polos, basically is the whole setup. And this, I do actually wear all of them and I have worn all of them on multiple <laughs> occasions. <laughs> so we have some Shires Team Aubrey and sleeveless. I've got some Blackheart sleeveless, Makara sleeveless here, some Equa L sleeveless and also a Holland Cooper sleeveless. So this is a beautiful one, the Holland Cooper, I love this. Then going into short sleeve, again, some Team Aubrian, some Black Heart, some Shires. This here is beautiful from Montar. I'll show you this one. This is this beautiful bright coral with the Diamante little logo. Such a stunning colour for the summer. I literally modelled these a couple of days ago and I can't wait to actually wear them to ride when the sun comes back out. I've also got the same in navy. This is, um, so yeah, that's all the short sleeves. There's some Lemire in there as well and some more Equa L. And then we go on to the long sleeves. So obviously we can see a lot of Holland Cooper in here. We've got some Lisso Equestrian or Lisso Apparel, sorry. Um, Equa L, I love me some Equa L. Equestrian Stockholm, Maximilian, Horse Gloss, some more Holland Cooper. We've got Black Hearts. We've got Bullet Equestrian in here. We've got some Shires with Cura and Equestrian as well. In the back I've got a mixture of long sleeve and short sleeve polo shirts from Holland Cooper as well if I'm not fancying base layer and I'm fancying polo shirts. <laughs> so this is kind of like the dreamiest side ever I think. I'm just completely obsessed with this and I can't wait to start creating lots and lots of content and help me choose my outfit of the day kind of posts in here because I'm obsessed. Then going into this one, up here <laughs> we have equestrian hoodies and then equestrian kind of like hybrid thinner jackets. I love anything kind of hybrid-y, um, so this is basically, and what a hybrid is, is basically a mixture between a jacket and a jumper. So these are the Holland Cooper hybrid puffers, these are beautiful, and then I also have two of the dynamic jackets from Lemure, this one is in papaya, and then I've also got one in this navy at the back, and then I also have this lovely thin jacket from equestrians.com here, Ringo actually has the matching saddle pad to that, that's the glittering, I think it's got like ma mahogany glimmer or something like that. Then we have some hoodies, so I've got some Lemire hoodies, this beautiful Montar hoodie, this one's from Grey Equestrian, Lemire, Holland Cooper and Maximilian. This is a beautiful, I love this hoodie, this is so good. This is honestly so gorgeous and it also has zipped pockets at the front which is an amazing benefit. Glass shell for storage here and then underneath here I have my winter coats, winter fleeces and big waistcoats. So that's everything from waterproofs to fluffy and warm etc etc. So that 
is that cupboard. Still beautiful, but less exciting than the middle. <laughs> and then going into the last one, I haven't completely filled this one yet. But up here is going to be all of my competition wear. So I've already got a competition base layer in at the moment, but I need to go and get my little storage box from downstairs with all my competition stuff and put it up there. However, on this glass shelf, I've got my caps. I've got a couple more caps to put up on here yet. And then in, in this drawer, I have equestrian sports bras. I've got some dressage pants that I was sent from Equitech and they're basically spongy because my saddle is very, very hard leathered. So they just make it really spongy and soft to ride in. So lots of supportive sports bras in here. I've got the three from Blackheart. These are amazing to ride in. And I've got some like posher equestrian socks in this one. And then in the next drawer down, I have all of my socks and it's a bit of a mess in there. So I'm not gonna show you in there because I need to organize my socks. And then the bottom two at the moment are empty, but they're going to have like hats and things like that and all competition stuff in them over the next week when I have the time to sort this out. I'm just honestly, I'm so obsessed with this whole room. I cannot wait for the handles to go on and I just can't wait to start filming all of the content in here because oh, I just, I absolutely love it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know it's like a little bit different than my usual kind of style content videos. There was an equestrian haul in there and obviously I've shown you through all of the equestrian clothing that I wear on a daily basis. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and click the like button if you did enjoy this video. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video and I look forward to creating all the content in my new dressing room.